Hi, welcome back to the Solana for Developers YouTube series. We've reached an exciting point in this series. In particular, we're going to start making transactions on the Solana blockchain. The simplest such transaction is transferring the Solana token from one account to another. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video, we're going to give a very detailed discussion of this procedure. However, like any good detailed discussion, we should really start off with an introduction. And so that in particular is what we're going to do in this video. We're going to use Python to send Solana tokens from one account to another, but we're going to do it in the easiest possible way. We're going to make heavy use of the Python Solana package, which is going to make this transfer very easy, but is going to cover up some of the core concepts. So in later videos, we're going to revisit this transaction and make it much more clear what's really going on behind the scenes. So let's get started. I'll create a new file called transfer soul introduction.py and I'll access it up here. So our goal, remember, is to transfer Solana token, often abbreviated SOL, from one account, account to another. So first we need to have those two accounts. I'll first here access my phantom wallet. I have this preloaded with some uh, Solana tokens and this has a wallet address. But to send it to another account, we need to have another one. And you can either create that with Python as we discussed in a previous video, or since we already know how to do that, a slightly easier way is to just uh, create a new wallet here. So here's our new wallet that we'll be sending Solana tokens to. So I'll go back to wallet one, I'll copy here the uh, wallet address, and I'll define here the from address, so this is where the transfer is coming from, and the to address, and this is where the transfer is going to. So now I'll go back and uh, copy the wallet address of our newly created wallet, which currently doesn't have any Solana tokens, but which we will send some Solana tokens to. So the last uh, basic parameter of this transaction is, is how many uh, Sol tokens we actually want to send. So Let's go back to the Phantom Wallet and see how many soul tokens we actually have in Wallet 1. So we discussed last time there's this issue between the amount that's being showed on the user interface and the actual number seen by the Solana blockchain. To make this easy for us, we'll just use, we'll make that soul amount variable the amount of soul tokens which appears in the user interface and then we will uh, fix that out before we actually send the transaction. So we have approximately 0 0.19 Solana tokens. I think for this transaction a good number to send is just 0 0.01. So we'll be able to see the change but it won't be uh, significant in case anything is uh, going wrong. So for our soul amount, I will put 0 0.01, and we'll remember that we'll have to fix that number up a bit before we actually send it to the blockchain, because the blockchain sees an integer number and not uh, this decimal number. Now to set up this transaction, at this point we're going to be making heavy use of the Python Solana package. So we'll define transfer parameters and we are going to be using something now immediately from the Python Solana package. So I will say uh, from Solana.SystemProgram import, we're going to import two things, the transfer params and transfer. And so for transfer uh, parameters, we will write transfer params and then we'll fill in these, uh, these parameters. The first argument which is accepted is the from pub key 
Now, this is essentially just the from address, but the way that this Solana uh, Python package is, sets up is that, and incidentally here we will also want the to address, it wants these as a public key object. So we'll need to import that from Solana dot public key, import public key. And so we'll just express each of this from address as well as the to address in terms of uh, public key objects. And the last thing that we need to put here is LAM ports. Now, a LAM port is this basic integer unit of Solana tokens. And so last time we discussed that it to actually go here from the sole amount to the amount that the blockchain sees, we'll need to multiply this by a factor of 10 to the 9th. And when you do that, at that point, it's called a LAM port. So we want the integer uh, representation of our sole amount times 10 to the power of 9. And so now that's the appropriate number which our blockchain is seeing. And excuse me, to address, it's saying this is an unexpected argument. That's because it's called to pub key. Continuing on, now we can build our actual sole transfer. And that is equal to transfer, excuse me, just transfer here. And we're passing in the uh, transfer parameters. And finally, we need the actual transaction object from the Solana Python package. So from solana.transaction import transaction and now we can add this sole transfer uh, we can both create a transaction and add this sole transfer to the transaction so we'll say transaction equals transaction create a new one uh, dot add and then we'll add the sole transfer here and so the last step to this is actually sending this transaction to the blockchain and there's one additional detail now is that of course we need a bit more input information because if you could just put in the from address and the to address and execute this transaction, then anybody could transfer Solana tokens from one wallet to another, regardless of whether or not you are the owner of that wallet. And that of course would be very bad. And of course it doesn't work like that. So, we need a way of signing this transaction with our private key. So at this point, I'll just recall what is actually in this wallet. I have some real Solana tokens here. This is real money, so to speak. And so at this point, I don't want to share with you the private key of this wallet. So what I've done is I've created an additional file over here, which is called private.py, and I have saved the private key as a variable, which I can import here. So what I'm going to say is from private import the private key, so that I can import and have access to this file. However, I don't have to publicly show what this private key actually is. And we'll need to import one more thing to be able to sign this uh, transaction properly. And that is from Solana dot key pair import uh, key pair. And essentially, we are going to give the private key as an argument to the to this key pair, and it is going to create the right kind of object, which the Solana Python package will use to appropriately sign this transaction. So we have uh, one more line here, which is the transaction result. And in this, we are actually going to be sending the transaction to the Solana blockchain. So, uh, and actually I forgot about one thing. We also need that Solana client, which we used last time in account balance. So we had the Solana client. We are again going to be using 
the Solana client to send the transaction. And so I'm going to copy and paste this uh, from the account balance file. And I can just include this here at the top. And we will also need to import client to for this to work out correctly. Okay. So we have our client set up and this final line will be Solana client dot send transaction. We will pass the transaction and we will not now make use of this key pair and private key. So the correct statement here is key pair dot from seed. Well, it's another way to say from private key and we'll put in our private key here. And if everything worked correctly, that should actually do the transfer of 0 0.01 Solana tokens from this address to that address. And I'll just, we'll discuss this more in a, in a future video, but I'll print out this transaction result just so we can see it for a first time. And now I can run this Python 3, transfer soul introduction.py. And there we go. We got a valid result, which is likely indicating that this worked, but let's check to make sure. So this is good news. Our balance has decreased by roughly 0.01 Solana tokens. And just to be totally sure, let's check to see what happened in Wallet 2. Great. So we increased that by 0.01 Solana tokens which means that this transfer was successful. To reiterate a bit, um, there is a lot of stuff going, behind, going on behind the scenes here. We are, we are using one, two, three, four, five import statements from the Solana pack, from the Solana Python package. And what that means is that they have a ton of machinery wrapped up in all of these different objects. And so, yes, the transfer worked. Yes, we did it with Python. Yes, this could be used in a real uh, application. However, for the purposes of learning, this is really bad because we have sent the Solana transaction, but we essentially have no idea what happened behind the scenes. And so that's why uh, this video is called Transfer Soul Introduction and not Transfer Soul, because in future videos, we are going to have to do a lot more exploration to get to the bottom of what's really going on behind the scenes. All right, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we will continue our task of getting to the fine details of what's going on behind the scenes with this transaction of sending Solana tokens from one wallet address to another. Thanks. See you next time.